For those that have followed my channel over the years, they'll know I talk a lot about Freemasonry. The foundation of Freemasonry is duality. This is what it all comes down to, where they tell us the truth in seemingly ridiculous things such as Illuminati card games, as I show here with the specific card, Enough is Enough. This man that looks just like Donald Trump. Here is a package of the actual Illuminati card game. Again, going back to 1995. They tell us the truth in seemingly ridiculous things such as movies, cartoons, through comedy, with their puppets. Again, taking a look here, as I showed many times with Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future. You see the, the dual tie, which resembles, basically represents the Twin Towers and the Sun symbolism. You know, all the 9-11s with these clocks, different position, but you get the same result. Sapphire 11, Sapphire Stone, Sapphire means September. You get your Roman numeral 11 for 9-11. As I've shown again here with Eric Sean, with your 9-11 on the two mics. Eric Sean, of course, working for Fox News. Going back in time with predictive programming when it comes to 9-11. During the construction of the towers in 1968, they had this article, this advert, Talking about the dangers of the Twin Towers with planes. And look at those planes right there. So even before the towers were constructed, they give you warning of what's going to take place. Before the towers were even constructed, they planned for these towers to come down. That's what it all comes down to. This is something he's actually stated. He quoted this, this basically slogan. Part of being a winner is knowing when enough is enough. Okay? Side by side here. Donald Trump. Enough is enough, enough is enough. And if you think this is some amazing coincidence, then you're definitely a coincidence theorist, like I state many times, for those that just want to brush everything off and believe everything is just a coincidence in this world when it's not. Everything is by design. Okay? Now, interesting what it says on the card here, on the very bottom. It's hard to make out here. I'll get a little bit of a, of a close-up after I read this here. At any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. And this is, again, on the very bottom of Donald Trump's Illuminati card. The reason I showed up here in text is because it's kind of hard to see on the very bottom here. But again, it's definitely there. Now again, if you think this is just some amazing coincidence with this connection with Donald Trump in this card, let's take a look here. There's one specific card called the Joggers card. And this woman wearing the green tank top. Let's get a closer look here at the card. It says, no one ever suspects a harmless jogger. Okay, then you see this, as I've shown. Follow my channel, you'll, you'll know this. Let's take a look. You see the finish line? And right when the explosion happens, you see a female with a green top. She throws something that seems like possibly a detonator. And again, you saw that explosion. You get back to this card where it says, again, no one suspects a harmless jogger. Telling you what's going to happen before it happens. This is their way of doing things. Again, it's a form of mockery and also giving the masses a fair warning of what's to come before it comes because they believe it will release their bad karma. There's the woman again in green. Now, getting back to Donald Trump, back to the future, so much predictive programming. First, let's take a look here at producer and co-writer Bob Gale and what he states. Okay, this is an article from the Daily Beast. Back to the Future, writer Biff Tannen is based on Donald Trump. Read the texture where the parallels of Donald Trump and Biff Tannen are mentioned, where Biff uses his profits from his gambling for a 27-story casino, just like Trump in 84 with his 37-floor you know, casino as well. Of course, you get your 3 and 7 for your cult of 777. And how Biff uses his power to shake up the Republican Party, which is, again, parallel to Donald Trump running as president. Also, quoting Bob Gale here once again, talks about how basically Marty McFly and Doc Brown fix, fix the situation. Basically, they save themselves in America from Donald Trump. Stops at TR, and he refers back to Biff Tannen. So again, even the the producer and the cult writer even admits the character of Biff Tannen is basically based on Donald Trump. That's what it all comes down to. So, what's going to take place here 
you know, with this rigged reality, and they give us hints, like I said in the past, showing these images. I think this is all just a coincidence. Absolutely no way. So I showed here with the jogger as well, and you see it happen in actuality in real life. So what's exactly going to happen with Donald Trump? You know, I mean, this could be potentially this info mixed in with truth. Talks about snipers and this man resembling Donald Trump. Something we have to wait and see what happens, but I find it very interesting. I made many predictions in the past. Something will happen with Donald Trump that will remove him from the equation. And Hillary Clinton as well. Like I said, I believe they're going to remove her based on her supposed health issues. What it all boils down to, what it all comes down to, is Barack Obama remaining in as president for a third term. And like I stated many times, also the last president of the United States before the coming New World Order. Closer to the heart. Closer to the heart.